Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ludo here, here. So today is my time to review this iPhone SE in 2024. That's the stay with it. So we do further do. Let's get started. So here's the phone, rose gold color. Still in good condition, but I just need to re-clean this. The front part. Still in very good condition also. Wow. So this phone was released in 2016, same as iPhone 7. Now I'm going to tell you the spec, it's a 4 inch with retina display, 640p for the resolution display. At the top we have a core receiver, sensor and 1.2 megapixel selfie. At the below we have a single home button with fingerprint support. Let's move to the back side. For the battery, it has a 1324mAh. Fully aluminium at the back side and at the side too. Except at the top and below, white color, it's a glass. Apple logo, iPhone logo, SE logo, 12 megapixel rear camera with dual tone LED flash, mic will be there. At the right side, we have a same tray, line up and down at the left side, volume up and down, silent switch at the top, power off button. At the below, we have a headphone jack, mic, dual screw. Charging port lightning type and this speaker will be here. It has a 2GB of RAM and this unit is 32GB of storage. Apple A9 chip. So now let's see the UI. This is lock screen and the home screen. First thing first, let's go to setting and we show you the version what it runs. General software update. Let me show you. It runs latest version of iOS 15.8.1. And my battery have about 88% if I'm not mistaken, yes. So now let's check out the performance of the UI. It's really smooth. No lag, no problem. Even on the latest version, wow. So fast, very nice launching app. Very nice on this small 4 inch device, very powerful. Since it runs on the latest version of iOS 15.8.1, yes, I can say 98% of the apps are still compatible on this phone, so don't worry about it. Same performance as a 6S or 6S Plus because your same chip Apple A9, same RAM, still good for me. So now let's check out the camera. Let's see just now 1.2 for the selfie, 12 for the rear with 4x maximum zoom. Wow, it's so clear. At the top, we have uh, some shortcut, and below, we have uh, some button, shutter button, and the mode. Now let's check out the 1.2 selfie. As you can see how good it is. So what we have here is square panel, photo, video, so more, and time lapse. So if you want to setting up your camera, let's go to setting. Select it down until you found the camera app. Press it. So here's all of this setting for the camera and the video too. For the video, you can record up to 4K 30fps or 1080p at 60. And for the slow motion, you can record up to 1080p at 120 or 720p at 240. That's very nice. For the games, yes, why not? You can download on this phone even heavy games, but as per normal old iPhone, it heat up very fast. So that's normal for the old iPhone. Battery performance too. So, does this still worth it? My answer is yes, 98% of apps are still compatible on this phone, so don't worry about it. So, before I answer you, you can give your feedback for this iPhone SE 2016 model review in 2024 in the comment below. And so, that's for me. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on next video. Goodbye, and have a nice day.